Wanderers fans, we're back. The A-League season is officially here. I'm Sia Anthopoulos and you're watching Bay 46, the show where we preview all things Wanderers in the lead up to every home game. This year on Bay 46, you'll get exclusive insights you won't find anywhere else as we showcase what makes this club like no other. But today we're talking about one thing and one thing only. After 166 days, football returns to Pertex Stadium as our Wanderers start their fourth Hyundai A-League season. It might be quiet now, but come Thursday, this stadium will be covered in red and black and the Brisbane Roar won't know what hit them. It's right here in the change rooms where Tony Popovich will ready his men to take the field on Thursday, but we will have a couple of fan favourites out of action. Brendan Santalab injured himself in our FFA Cup defeat against Perth, while Foundation players Shannon Cole and Mark Bridge are also recovering from injury. Goal Gold Mabratu, who of course scored the winner when we last played Brisbane Raw in August's FFA Cup round of 32 fixture, is also fighting his way back to full fitness. The good news is Popovich will be able to call on new marquee signing Dario Vitasic, who I think is a massive buy for the club. Vitasic made his Wanderers debut off the bench against Perth and the former Adelaide man should play some part against the club where he first kicked off his footballing career. Meanwhile, Raw boss Aloisi will be hoping to start Spanish midfielder Corona, who joined the club last week. With the departure of Luke Braddon, he'll need to put in a big performance with Raw having a number of absentees. Captain Matt Mackay and defender James Donachie will be away on Socceroos and Oliroos duty, respectively, while striker Solorzano and veteran Shane Stefanuto look set to miss out through injury. A question mark also hangs over new number nine Jamie McLaren. The former Perth man is working through a knee problem, and if fit, he'll definitely be one to watch. As always, stopping the ever-impressive Thomas Broich will be central to Popovich's game plan. If the Wanderers' back line can stifle the classy German, we'll be well on our way to picking up the three points. Now we all know we have the most passionate fans on social media, so this week I asked you to tweet me what you're looking forward to most this season. WSW Steve says he can't wait to be with his Wanderers family every home game, singing loud and proud. Pride, power, West. The Bay 49 Wanderers are already looking ahead to Round 3's away derby, as well as February's massive away trip to Melbourne victory. While Tony2148 says it's the RBB who made game day an event. I couldn't agree more, Tony. By now, everyone should have their membership packs. So just like Caitlin's furry friends, we expect everyone to be decked out in red and black. So keep the tweets coming, guys. Hashtag Bay46 and let us know what you want to see on the show this year. Now this is where it will all kick off on Thursday night. But without you, the fans, Wonderland is nothing. It's time to unite once again and show the rest of the league what real passion is all about. If you're not a member, Thursday is the perfect opportunity to experience the best atmosphere in Australian sport. I'm Sianthopoulos and you're watching Bay 46. I look forward to seeing you here at Wonderland for an 8pm kickoff. I'll be singing for the boys and I hope you will be too. Let's get our boys back to the top where they belong.